and loves, namaste. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I want to sincerely apologize for my absence and my lack of communication. I definitely need to get better at posting videos for you guys. But do know that I think about you every single day and every single night and every single moment that goes by. I think about you and the fact that I am not consistently posting videos for you and I apologize for that and I will get better. Thank you for being patient. Well, today I was off from work, so I wanted to spoil myself a little bit, which always feels awkward and weird. And I have to talk about it with my family and make sure that it's okay. But I got a few items and I wanted to share them with you. The first few items I got were from Ulta. And they're having the Breast Cancer Research Foundation fundraiser. I was able to donate a little bit of money towards that. And I got three, sorry, four items for a total of $35.39. Ouch. <laughs> oh no. Well, the first thing that I know about this item is that it's not supposed to be shaken. And this one got tossed around just now. Um, so sorry about that. This is the drying lotion, and I got the glass bottle. It also says it's the 50th anniversary edition. Wow, so it's been around for 50 years. And I've been seeing this being used by many people for many moons, and I've always wanted it, but I always take long to like jump on trends, or when it comes to purchasing something that's more than five bucks, I hesitate and it takes me a very, very long time to actually go out and purchase the item, but I finally did and I can't wait to try it out tonight on some of my face pimples. This next item I got as a happy birthday gift from Ulta. It's a It Cosmetics Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing, Volumizing Mascara. I haven't opened it yet, so we'll open it together. The inside says you are beautiful, you are it. Superhero. And it looks like this. And it smells like mascara. So this was free. Thank you very much also for the free birthday gift. Then I got my favorite clear nail polish by Sally Hansen. This is the Hard As Nails Clear Coat. It helps prevent chipping, splitting, and cracking. And it's a nail hardener. And I've been using this for a very long time and I like it a lot. It was only $2.99 at Ulta. It might be cheaper at Walmart or Sally or Sally's. Dang, it says shake gently. I didn't know. This is apparently the first time I'm reading the bottle and apply to bare nails and under the nails. And you can use as a base coat or use it alone. Last but not least from Ulta, I got this um, skincare facial spray. It has aloe, herbs, and rose water. The last um, setting spray I used was, um, it was from an organic store and it was rose water based and I really liked it and I've been missing it since. I haven't been using a setting spray for months because I've been too lazy to go to the store but finally I did and I got this one it says it can be used as a touch-up to set your makeup to soothe and hydrate your skin and you can use it on your hair face and skin throughout the day very nice cruelty and paraben free let's smell it shall we Hmm, I don't smell the rose as much as I did in the other spray that I should have smelled it before purchasing it, right? That would have been a good idea. Yeah, it doesn't really smell like anything. Let's spray it and see what happens. Does it say shape? So I plan on using this before applying makeup as well as after I'm done applying makeup. Okay, I smell the rose. Nice. I'm glad I tried it on camera for you, so 
So you knew that I can smell the rose. <laughs> Next, I went to Bath and Body Works to get some wallflower oils for my mom and I. And I got 10 of them, four for me and six for my mom. My mom likes this lemoncillo scent and I got her six of those. So I wanna show you every single one because they're the same. Um, smells like lemon. And I wanted to get into the holiday spirit. So I got holiday spice or something like that for my house this one is called tis the season and when i smell the candle that they provide for you to um, smell the different scents it smells like cinnamon apples pumpkin a little bit of fall in a bottle can't wait to put these on and since they were five for 23 and my mom needs six I got four for me to balance it out, but I only had two wallflowers that I, like the actual plug that goes into the wall. I only had two for a long time and they last. I've had them for years and I've moved them from house to house, maybe like four different houses and they still work. Um, so since I had to get myself four, well not had to, but in order to get the, the five for 23 special on both sides, um, I got two more of the plugins for myself and I got them this gray color. Next, I went to Walmart and I had to get my Cody Airspun. Why do I call it Cody? Is it called Cody? It's Cody with a T. Okay. It's the Cody Airspun loose face powder that's been around since 1935. So. And I always get the translucent extra coverage color. And this is only my second time purchasing it, so I'm not sure why I said I always get some my second time, but it lasted me like two years. And I'm one of those that uses their makeup until it's done, and I don't worry about expiration dates. I should, but I don't because I'm cheap <laughs> and I wanna finish it. So I'm so excited to have found this because the two other Walmarts I checked didn't have the translucent extra coverage. They had honey beige and the other color they had. I jumped onto the contour stick bandwagon and got the dual ended contour stick from Wet n Wild in the color light medium 751A. And I can't wait to play. I hope you can see the samples that they give in the back. This is my favorite BB cream ever. And I've only tried one BB cream, which is this one, but I love it so much. I got so lucky with it. This is all I wore when I was in law school because it was quick to put on and it lasted and it was light and school was very far away and I had like a three hour commute. And sometimes I would be on campus for like 12 hours and this lasted and it's only like seven bucks. And I get the one with salicylic acid in it. So at the same time, it's um, curing your acne. And it claims to have eight benefits. Clears acne, conceals imperfections, minimizes look of pores, reduces appearance of redness, adjusts to skin tone. That's my favorite part. Hydrates, smooths, mattifies, clarifies, 0% oils, and lightweight feel. So I'm gonna start using this again. Then I got some tampons and some panty liners because it's about to be that time in about a day or two, hopefully tonight, so that way I can cleanse and <laughs> drain out for the next two days before going back to work on Monday. And some more panty liners. Last but not least from Walmart, I got some aloe vera gel. I want to start putting this under my um, arms during the night right before bed to see if I can lighten that area with some aloe. It's 100% pure and um, ideally it's used for sunburns but you can use it as a moisturizer or a mask for a few minutes. I've heard that you're not allowed to sleep in this because the enzymes might burn your skin so leave it on for a little bit. Let's see what else. Yeah it says moisturizer for dry skin and it helps with bites, irritation, chafing, itching, burns, dry skin. It's quickly absorbed. It's hard to read because it's white font on the clear background. No 
fragrance, but I'm sure it does smell delicious like earth. Oh, there's virtually zero scent. Did I say flavor or fragrance earlier? I hope I said fragrance. Yep, no scent. Lastly, I went to Sephora for a beauty blender. And I ended up getting a free gift as well for my birthday. So I only spent 20 bucks on the beauty blender. I got the one in nude. I currently have the black one, um, but it's getting beat up. And it's ripping. Um, and I know Sephora is usually very good about exchanging them, but I didn't want to do that again because I've already done that once before. I originally had the pink one and that one messed up on me. And then Sephora was kind enough to exchange it at no cost. And I got the black one. Now that one's getting messed up. Um, so apparently I'm the issue and not <laughs> the manufacturer. So I didn't want to ask for an exchange. And now I have two and I can keep the beat up one, my purse perhaps. And I got the nude one to see if maybe it um, camouflages some of the foundation so it won't look dirty. So I'm excited to use the nude one. And that's all. That was my little shopping haul for today. And I most likely won't be having another one for a few months. Uh, I don't really like to shop for myself. I like to shop for other people. Um, but now it's time to save. And I've been more strict about not buying presents for other people for now until I can get financially stable and have like multiple revenues of income. But until then, this will be perhaps my last mini haul for a little bit. Um, I did record some other hauls for you um, from stuff that my sister-in-law blessed me with. Um, if some of you have been hanging out with me for a while now, you might remember a big makeup haul that I did a couple years back. And I'm not sure why that video got deleted. Um, I didn't save it and it's gone, but um, I hope that some of you got to see all the beautiful stuff my sister-in-law blessed me with. And all that makeup has lasted very, very long. And recently she gave me a bunch of stuff again and i recorded some videos for you but the quality was terrible and um, i haven't posted them because the quality was bad not that this quality is any better but um let me know in the comments below if you want me to post those as well um i hope that the quality doesn't offend you and just know that i am working to better myself and be the best me i can be for you guys Thank you so much for being patient and for your unconditional love. I love you so, so much, and I can't wait to um, converse in the comments. So leave me a little comment. Let me know what was your favorite product from the ones I purchased today, or if um, you use any of them or don't use any of them. Um, also, let me know if you want to see those previous videos that I filmed um, that I consider bad quality. And um, let's see, what else? Can you tell me in the comments? What's your favorite primer? Let me know if you use primer and what's your favorite. Because I had a hard time choosing today and I ended up with no primer. Um, so let me know if you recommend any. I think rain and wind want to say hello in the background. Hi, rain. Wind. Rain. And the water you hear is from the turtle tanks. All right, lights and loves, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up or down, and share it, and leave me a comment below, and I will do my best to reply to every single comment. All my love, bye, namaste.